Hello everyone, welcome to Automate with UiPath. So this current video series that I am starting now, especially for UiPath jobs and people who are looking for UiPath jobs and someone who is not into development but going to attend a developer job or a fresher job for a UiPath interview. So right now I am targeting, uh, we will be given a task to work on and to give back uh, the code. Mostly asked in nowadays uh, in all the coding interviews for UiPath. Questions will not be too complex. Uh, you just need to understand the basic syntaxes. So people who don't know the basic syntax as well and who don't know UiPath, how can you learn both the things at the single shot? So that's why I'm creating this particular uh, video series. So I'm using two references. One is uh, W3Schools. The second one is VB.NET from Java T Point. So I'll be using these two so that you will get to understand what is the syntax and I do copy code a lot from online. So if you are a developer, you too should do it. But how can you understand the code and how can you copy it or how can you translate it to UiPath code? That's what I'm trying to explain in this particular video series. So this video series will start from C sharp tutorials complete all the methods maybe few things that I cannot explain here like inheritance polymorphism I cannot literally translate them into UiPath and that's not required as well but I will uh, also cover all the things that are available in, the, in this particular website and I, then I will move into vb.net so that you will be able to understand both versions of uh, code and you will be able to translate them into UI part directly people who are looking for jobs or who are trying to get uh, trained for jobs and UI path go ahead and you can see an option on the top on here right here um, join and subscribe so do subscribe hit that bell icon and few videos will be specially for the members who join in automator hyper automator or super automator memberships so go ahead and do check them out as well.